Hello everyone and welcome to iOpen TCGs, the channel where normally I open TCGs, but today you get a floating hand discussion video. I'm not going to be opening the booster box. I'm going to be talking about booster boxes. Now, right now it's 3 a.m. I just streamed for like six or seven hours, so I'm a little out of it, but I did want to talk about something because on TCG Player right now as I'm talking, there is only 12 boxes left of Star Wars Unlimited on TCG Player. Now, there are eight more, but those eight boxes are priced at $475 or more. So um, no one's going to buy those. Uh, but there are 12 boxes between $145 and $195 uh, on TCG Player right now. Now, where did the supply go? Well, Star Wars has been popping off. It's been blowing up. And a lot of people heard that they were gonna, uh, stores were going to get some product the next couple of months until set number two. But the bombshell that Asthma Day has dropped on a lot of stores, you may already know this, or you may not, uh, it's been leaking out the last couple of days, is that all stores, or maybe not all of them, but stores, if you ask for more product, you will get between one and three boxes each month until set two comes out. All right. So no matter how big or small of your order that you made was, you will get one to three boxes per month. And now these boxes are going to be meant for uh, doing draft or, or sorry, as, as prize support for weeklies. Maybe, may, I mean, I don't think anyone's doing draft now anyways, especially with, with that being so limited, but you could use it for draft. You could use it for limited things like that. Um, and we have three more months, if my math is correct, right? April to May to June to July. We have three more months until set two, and most stores are only going to get nine boxes until then. What do we think is going to happen? Well, there's a lot to be considered here. I do think that there are some major stores, some big stores that have held back supply in case that this happened. I think the reason that there's only 12 boxes on TCG Play right now is because a lot of people took them down. Uh, the same thing happened last time when there was a run up. A lot of uh, stores took a lot of their product down and then they re put them back up once the spike happened. But the difference is the last time people were still getting more product. This time people ain't getting product anymore. All right. Um, now, it is a bit of a rambly video, but the main point that I wanted to talk about is A, if you didn't know, now you know, and B, what are we going to do for the next three months? Um, I, I think this, of course, as mentioned in previous videos, is a big, big, big test on how good Star Wars Unlimited is uh, because um, this kind of thing did also happen to Lorcana when the first chapter came out. Not the exact same thing, but very similar. They did ultimately reprint the first chapter and it brought the prices back down a lot. But since then, they haven't reprinted more. Lorcana is still doing well. First chapter is going crazy, right? We do know they're going to make a reprint of Star Wars Unlimited. We don't know how many there's going to be. We don't know exactly when it's going to be. A lot of people speculate, you know, after set two drops, uh, there might be a reprint of set one. We don't know that 100%. We don't know how big it is. If it's another four boxes per store, it's not going to make much of a dent, right? Uh, but to go backwards, um, this is going to be a big test because there is another game right now that is very, very, very hard to find. But the power of the IP and the power of the gameplay has still made it a very, very popular game. And that, of course, is One Piece, all right? It is so very hard to get any set of One Piece. It's on the sixth set. But people still want to play that game, get into that game, collect that game because of the power of that game. Now, it's not the exact same situation. This is set number one, of course. But we will see in the next three months when it's hard to get a booster box, right? Are people still going to want to come in brand new and, and buy singles, play the game? I fully expect once the box prices go up, of course... The singles prices are going to slowly go up as well. I do think it'll take a little bit of time, but of course, the big cards, showcases, the, the big legendaries, those are going to dry up first, of course. The higher rarity upgrades are going to go up, uh, dry up first as well. But 
the interesting thing about this time period is that we know a reprint is coming. So I don't think it's going to moon that crazily. Hopefully the singles stay within reach so that brand new players can still come into the game, get excited about set two. And then, of course, that brings us to the problem or potential problem of set two. Now, I have heard conflicting things from different company or different people, uh, different companies, different games do diff things differently. Um, but my understanding, and it could be wrong, is that usually you do print more for set two, but you don't print an insane amount more for set two, right? Um, like you want to be confident that your game's going to grow and that by the time set two comes out, it's going to be a bigger audience than maybe potentially set one. Um, but again, given the unprecedented demand for set one, set two is already printed and done. That order is already ordered, right? They can't change that order right now. So I am worried that set two is going to be a heavily allocated thing. I put in my order and I paid upfront three months in advance, like an idiot to try to guarantee that I can get boxes for set two. Um, of course, for, for my store, it's not about the store here today. Um, uh, but that could still be allocated as well, you know, because there might be triple the amount of stores that want to get into Star Wars at the time. And it might be hard to, you know. So, again, as mentioned in, in the last Star Wars floating hands discussion video, this is step one of the pain points of supply and demand for a TCG. There are many, many rippling effects, decisions that need to be made. And we are not even not not even there to step two yet. So it's going to be an interesting three months. You know, you might not see as many opening videos on the channel uh, anymore. I still do have uh, the rest of the case to finish. Uh, uh, well, I've already opened them, but the rest of the case to be uploaded for future uh, uh, videos here. Um, and I might open a couple here and there as well, but. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think is going to happen in the next three months? Are you afraid or are you not afraid? I, I know I know this is a lot of people's very first TCG. A lot of people have also come from Magic, so they're very different perspectives and 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 beliefs, I guess, in the company. You know, um, so I'm looking forward to arguing with you in the comments, I guess, because that's what I do. So I'll see y'all then. Hopefully, you enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, bye.